So I'm gonna go to this real quick. Y'all pay attention, watch this. Ephesians 4 and 11 says, and he gave some, somebody say some, some. apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some uh -huh. pastors uh -huh. and some teachers. It's <clears throat> a lot of things. Verse 12 says, this is DC 1200. Verse 12 says, this is Ephesians 4 and 12, for the perfecting, somebody say perfecting, perfecting. of the saints. God gave these fivefold for the perfecting of the saints. Now, now watch this, something that we always look over. For the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. I'm convinced that God has given the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers, the pastors. <laughs> watch this. He's given the body those specific, specific gifts. Watch this. To train and equip the saints for the work of the ministry. It's not just about, you know, well, we got to get fivefold operating in the house. No, no, no. Yeah. The kingdom of God is bigger than your little, your, your little yeah. reality. It's bigger come on, than you. Come on. Come on, you, 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 come on. You act like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, what are you, Don Corleone of the gospel? It's bigger than you. Come on, it's bigger Amen. than you. I'm going to write a book one day called Getting Delivered from Your Church. Because oh everybody got this your church, your church, your, your church. <laughs> My church, my church, look, and people have said, Apostle, how many people at your church? I ain't, I ain't got no church. I am the church. Woo. But we got millions of people all over the world. Correspond every week. We got so much correspondence all over the world, out of the country. People connecting. Amen. All over. People, man, KPM Live, KPM Live. There's too many people for a building. It just so happened that in the physical realm that we're here in Columbus, Ohio, in the physical realm, but in the spirit, we're all over the world. Amen. It's important that we understand that God has given these gifts to the body mm -hmm. to train and equip <clears throat> the saints. We are here. God called me to this apostleship to, to uh, perfect the saints, to train and equip. Not to come and prove that I can preach. Not to prove that I can teach. Not to prove that I can prophesy. Oh, let me see. Your undershirt is, uh, is, uh, is white. Oh, that's my shirt. <laughs> God didn't call me here to do that, huh? Or to show you, oh Lord, and the Bible says, uh, in, the, in the book of Ephesians, uh, to, I, I do that sometimes, I do that, that's the preacher, that's the preacher. But we're in school, we're in school now. Come on, we're in school. It's time for teaching and training. Me hooping and hollering and, and, and hitting riffs, that ain't gonna help you in your ministry. The training and the teaching and the equipment is gonna help you in your ministry, why? Because some of y'all may not hoop. Some of y'all may not holler. Mm -hmm. Huh? And some people, because you don't hoop or holler, they say you don't have ministry. That's not so. They say you got to get a hoop. Huh? I had some preachers tell me, Apostle, you, you know, how can I, how can I hoop? They join the hoopology.com. They Google and hoopology. Look, while you on your hoopology, come on, you need to be on, you need to be in the presence of God on your knees. You need, you need to be seeking God for what He called you to do. Because truth be told, there's a lot of people in ministry who ain't even been called to do what they're doing. And they wonder why it's so difficult because God ain't called you. That's why it's easy to say, "Oh, let me drop it. I'm, 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 I'm about to retire. I'm about to go and play golf." Jesus. I'm changing my career because this is not working for me. Uh, maybe, maybe you never got the call. Thank God for Sadie Mae Cooper. Thank God for my mother. My mother used to always tell people, when you get up in the middle of the night, you better make sure it's the voice of God. Because people say, oh, God woke me up. God told me to preach the gospel. My mother used to always say, you better make sure God is God talking to you. Because people say, it's God, God, in the middle of the night, ooh, there was a, I got a, I got a feeling. It woke me up, oh, and the Lord, God told me to go preach. And my mother said, you better make sure it was the voice of God. And so what you mean, Mother Gucci said, because it might, might be your body, your bladder calling you to go pee. He said, oh, the Lord called me to pee. No, it's your bladder. You got to call it from your bladder. You got to ordain from your bladder to go pee. God maybe never called you to preach. So I want to tell all you people here today, listen, you brothers and sisters, if you've been called to preach, if you're called to ministry, if you're called to, prophet, to a prophetic ministry, apostolic ministry, this is the place right here, right here. This is the place, the KPM Live, the Kingdom Power Move Alive, Columbus School of Marketplace Ministry. Look, you, you, you need to understand that this is where it's going down. This is where you're getting the trade to go forward in your ministry. This is not about bigging me up. 
It's not about me. This is about us glorifying him and reaching the masses and freeing masses of people. Because there's a lot of people who are duct tape and they come on, their hands are duct taped together and they're not doing that. They're jumping around and talking about, you know, you can't call me. But you're not free. And the Bible says, even the sun says free. It's free indeed. Why are so many of us bound? Come on, why are we bound? And people are waiting for us. If you can see the souls that are waiting, waiting. for you. Yes, amen. amen. Come on. The souls waiting for you. Waiting. There's, there's yes. places you have to travel. Places yes. you have to go. You don't have 20 and 35 and 10. You don't have five yes. years. You don't even have the rest of this year. You need to get about what God called you to do. Now, now. amen. Time is of the essence. Woo. I have a personal quote. And it goes like this. Yesterday is gone. And today can only stay until tomorrow. So all we have is right now. Jesus. The time is now. Time is now. Amen. You close your eyes. No one is going to shove a battery up your back. When your heart stops ticking, it's a wrap. They can massage you and push you and do push-ups on, on your chest all they want. When your time is up, it's up. When my time is up, it's up. So why would I waste my life invested in something that's not going to yield me a harvest? Come on. Why would I waste my time on people and things and places that's not going to give me a harvest? Why would I waste time in a physical realm with things and doing stuff to try to be busy? I'm busy. Yeah, I got to do this. The church, yeah. Church, I got to run evangelism. And I got to do this. And yeah, the church, the church, the church. But see, what is the church doing for you? Do you have keys on your key ring or is your key ring empty? Every key ring should have some keys on it. And in the kingdom, we need kingdom keys. Amen. And I want to encourage you tonight to understand that the physical realm cannot dominate the spiritual realm. You have to master and dominate the flesh. That's what fasting is about. 